Hello and welcome. My name is Julia and today we are going to be doing some root chakra yoga. Now I don't normally recommend doing yoga in a blouse but when you're honoring the root chakra I would say whatever shirt or color best honors that practice then please go with the flow and wear whatever you feel most comfortable in. Um, so today, with this practice, we will be focusing on the energy of grounding, of security, and just feeling safe in our own skin. Um, so I invite you to bring your feet together. You can close your eyes or keep them open. And as you inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Take a slow and deep inhale. And a relaxed exhale. Just noticing your breath and becoming aware of the sensations in your body. On your next inhale, bring your attention to your feet and focus on all four or three corners of your feet. Notice how you're balancing, if you're leaning to one side or the other. And in this moment, just honor whatever is without judgment or without trying to change it. As you Inhale, begin to lift your arms up and overhead, stretching upwards. Again, focusing on grounding in with your feet, pushing down. And exhale to fold forward at the waist, allowing your hands to reach towards the ground, your head and neck are heavy. And just breathe into the space. With your next exhale, bend your knees, placing your hands firmly on the ground and find yourself in a squatting position with your cheeks resting on your knees. And take a moment to honor and enjoy the sacred space. With your next inhale, begin to stretch your hips back up. And then inhale to raise your torso vertebrae by vertebrae, your neck and head coming up last, lifting your arms back overhead, stretching upwards. And exhale to lower your arms, bend your knees, and come into your chair position. 
arms stretching forward, weight is in your heels, shoulders down away from your ears. Just relax into your breath. Maybe sink a little bit lower. Inhale, stretch back up, lifting your arms up and overhead. And exhale to sink your arms lower, coming into your eagle posture. So this is an interesting balancing pose. So lifting your right leg up over your left leg and twisting it around Begin to sink into your hips. Your arms are at about your shoulder height, wrapping your right arm around your left. Your arms moving to the left, your legs moving to the right. And sink a little bit lower. Inhale to untwist, reaching, reaching your arms back overhead, stretching upwards, and exhale to sink back down into your hips, this time lifting your left leg up and over the right, twisting it around, and your arms finding the opposite grip. And for this version of this posture, try to keep your arms and your elbows reaching upwards. Or you can play around, maybe pull them down, see how that feels, but keeping your shoulders lower. And this time your legs are reaching to the left side, your arms to the right. And inhale to reach up overhead, coming back. Exhale into your mountain pose. Coming into triangle, I invite you to stand at the back of your mat. Taking a large step forward with your left foot. So your back foot will be at a 45 degree angle. And actually, let's do one of the warrior versions first. So inhale, raising your arms up until they're parallel with the ground, bending into that front knee. And just finding that nice stretch as you reach your fingers forward and back. Again, your shoulders are down away from your ears. Pulling your stomach, your pelvis, tilted upwards. And exhale to begin to straighten into that front leg. Your right hip is pulling back as you reach your left fingers forward. And then as you exhale again, begin to windmill your arms. Left fingertips pointing down towards the ground, right fingertips 
reaching up towards the sky and your gaze looking up at your right fingertips. Keeping that strength in both of your legs and finding a relaxed breath. Inhale to lift your torso back up, arms parallel with the ground. And begin to shift your left foot so it is now facing forward, both feet facing forward. Just take a moment here to notice the sensations in your body before transitioning. Moving your right foot so it is now forward facing. And bending into that right knee until your knee is over your ankle. And finding a relaxed breath. Again, shoulders down, chest up. Inhale as you begin to straighten that right leg, pulling your left hip back, reaching your right fingertips forward. And then as you exhale, begin to windmill your arms, right fingertips facing downward, left fingertips facing up towards the sky, and your gaze lifts up to stare at your left fingertips. Keeping that length and that strength in your upper body, lifting upwards. Whenever I find myself in a challenging posture, I often bring my awareness to my root lock and notice if I can bring more relaxation into that area with the breath. Inhale as you begin to lift your arms. Maybe you shift your feet so that they are both forward facing. And then exhale to lower your arms, bringing your feet together. And just standing once more in mountain. Noticing any sensations you might be experiencing. Next, we'll come into our tree posture. So keeping our left leg firm and planted, begin to lift your right leg up and place it on the inner thigh of your left leg, your, your right foot placed on your inner thigh of your left leg or on top of your upper left thigh. And really, this is just a moment to become aware of what is accessible for you. Maybe only your calf is accessible to do this posture. Just really listen to your body in this moment and connect with what would be self-honoring for you. 
And it's best to find a firm gaze planted somewhere on the ground before lifting your hands up to heart center. Exhale to lower your hands, gently lower your right leg. Finding that mountain pose for just a moment. With your right leg firmly planted in the ground, inhale as you lift your left foot and place it on your right leg, whether it's the calf, the inner thigh, the upper thigh. And when you feel balanced and ready, bring your hands to heart center. Focus on feeling secure, feeling grounded. Even though there's only one limb on the ground right now, there's a lot of energy and stability in that limb, flowing through your body, holding you up. And exhale to lower your hands, your foot, back down to the ground. This time we'll come into our Malasana. So standing with your feet a little more than hip width distance apart, bring your hands back to heart center, but this time begin to squat down, bending your knees, Maybe you move your legs a little bit further apart until you are able to rest your upper arm on the inside of your legs, just above your knee. And gently pushing your legs open with your elbows. Leaning backwards as much as you can. to release your hands, placing one behind you and then the other to come into a seated position. So from here we're going to move into a few seated postures. So the first will be our one-legged head to knee. Um, so keeping our left leg extended, bring the bottom of your right foot into your inner left thigh. And finding a nice firm stance in your seat, maybe you move the flesh away from your sit bones so you feel firm and grounded. And as you inhale, begin to lift your arms up and overhead. 
And exhale to bend forward at the waist. Stretching forward, maybe you reach your hands around your left foot. Once you find that grip, just take a few breaths to relax even further into this posture. With your next inhale, begin to lift your torso back up, lifting your arms, your head coming up last, and exhaling to lower your arms back down by your sides. Switching your legs, this time your right leg reaching forward, the left foot comes to the inner right thigh. Again, finding a nice, firm, seated position on top of your sit bones. As you inhale and reach your arms up overhead, coming out of the waist, and exhale to bend forward. Reaching your hands around your foot or on the ground next to your foot. Relaxing your head and your neck. With every inhale, maybe you stretch a little bit deeper. With every exhale, you find even more relaxation. As you inhale, begin to come up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Your head coming up last, your arms reaching up overhead. And exhale to lower your arms back down by your sides, extending both legs out forward. Take a moment to press both of your palms firmly into the ground by your hips, just lifting upwards. Feeling that strength and that support. Or lowering back down, feeling your own weight. Keeping that lift. Inhale as you reach both arms up and overhead. Feet flexed as you bend forward, reaching your hands around both feet.
inhale as you loosen your grip and begin to come up once again, vertebrae by vertebrae. Maybe you roll your shoulders back a few times. And then roll them forward. And placing both palms firmly by your sides, pushing into the ground, lifting up once more, breathing in deeply. And exhale to relax, let go. And come into the middle of your mat once more. Finding a nice cross-legged position. Maybe you find lotus or half lotus. And just take another moment to become aware of your sit bones. Firmly pressing into the ground. Your hands resting open on your knees in a gesture of receiving. And take a moment in this posture once more to notice and honor your breath. Notice and honor the energy that is moving through your body. The root chakra is associated with the color red. is the grounding force found at the base of our spine. It governs our sense of security, our sense of belonging, our family ties, ancestral roots. I invite you now to bring your hands to heart center. And in a gesture of gratitude, I invite you to think of one thing that you are grateful to Mother Earth for. Now honoring that feeling, that sensation, and letting it go. I now invite you to think of one thing that you are grateful for relating to your family. Breathing in one more time to honor that feeling, that sensation, and exhaling to let it go. And one final gesture of gratitude, I invite you to think of one reason 
that you feel secure and why you are grateful for that thing. Sometimes we find ourselves going through life worrying about not having enough. Every time we say this, every time we express this, the universe will give us more of not having enough. So in this moment, I invite you to give thanks for what you do have. Whether it's food on your table, a roof over your head, Abundance is always having what you need. And exhale to Bring your hands back down to your knees, facing upward in a gesture of receiving. Thank you for joining me in this practice today. Thank you for being grateful, for honoring your body, for acknowledging what you do have in life today. Please carry this energy forward with you and know that the safety, the security is always available to you. Namaste.